about to see the creators of the best show on Netflix in the flesh. I met a new friend. Hey. Introduce yourself. I'm Emily. I'm a junior at Chapman. And we met in the line. We were both standing in the completely wrong spot. We thought we were the first ones in line, and we weren't. But it's fine. We still got a good seat. We're sitting. We're seeing it. It's all good. Um, and we're really excited. Yay! And without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome our very own Matt and Ross Elber, Elber Woo! Woo! You're probably thinking, Gianna, why did you not film what the Duffer Brothers had to say? Are you crazy? Um, no. I wanted to listen. Take in all the information, be attentive, present in the moment, not worrying about my camera. They had a lot of great things to say. Basically, they gave us 11 lessons about creating something for television, basically, like what they did. They gave us a rundown of their story, a little bit of history, what they did. If you're really, really curious, I'm sure there will be a link somewhere if I can find it by the time I upload this video. I'll put it down there. But I really appreciated the fact that they were talking to us as they are. They are Chapman alumni that went and created something that blew up. They weren't talking down to us, like they were higher than us in some sort of aspect. They were so grounded, they were just speaking with us without us responding. They were being so honest, telling us like they failed and failed and failed and failed and they did want to give up and I feel like you always hear like you, you gotta just get back up again after you're down they told us like it like it sucks trying to get into the film industry is not easy and it's not fun and they elaborated on that they told us they had like sucky internships and they were turned down a ton of times. I really, really loved that they said like, yeah, Stranger Things blew up, but they are gonna mess up in the future. Something's gonna go wrong. They were just so honest and open and, and grounded. <laughs> I probably sound so stupid right now, but they were seriously just grounded and they were like, yeah. They didn't give any information about season three or anything, so wondering about that. Nothing was released, it was just them talking to us and giving us advice as film students. Which, yes, I'm not a film production major or anything like that, but I'm in the film school. I'm interested in that stuff. It's not my main focus, but it's definitely an interest. But isn't that so cool that they came to Chapman? Like, they went there. We have cool alumni here. I wish I did get more footage, but like I said, I wanted to actually listen and be present. If anyone's watching out there and they want to cast me in a Netflix series, uh, I'm down. Let me know. Because besides being Ellen, I want to be in a Netflix series. Can I stop looking at myself? Uh. But sometimes, do you ever just like contemplate where your life <laughs> is going to go? I was thinking about this the other day. I'm majoring in broadcast journalism. It's not like I'm majoring in business. There are so many attainable business jobs. I shouldn't say like, it's not, it's not easy for people to get like business jobs or like, or like medical jobs or anything, but they are way more attainable than the film industry. Getting into the film industry is fighting and chance. That's what I believe. And essentially your hard work and effort and what you want to put into it. And connections, and connections. But now as I'm recording myself, I'm just sitting and thinking about life and it's kind of freaking me out. On a different note, <laughs> come to Andrew's Ice Cream. <laughs> I work there. Um, it's in Orange on East Catella. I will give you 30% off if you come in and say, Gianna, I watch your YouTube video. I'll give you 30% off. 
It's all homemade ice cream. It's really, really yummy. I also strained my wrist from scooping. So when I'm not being a scooper, I am <laughs> fixing my wrist.